Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a very fun but really cool Valentine's Day look. And I'm going to, obviously I'm listing everything I use on the screen. I was jamming to 90s R&B, I lied, 90s hip hop on Apple Music. I, I really love listening to music when I'm doing my makeup, if you guys don't know, and I have my little concerts where I basically act out. But anyway, this part of the tutorial, I'm doing my face as normal, but I also kinda wanna talk to you guys about Valentine's Day. So with this look, I have always wanted to do like a two-sided look. I wasn't really sure what look I really wanted to do it on, but I'm glad that I came up with this look. So I actually sketched it a little bit because I was like, I always feel like with my creative looks, I have a template. So I have like things I've seen on social media, things like that. And with this look, I'm kind of happy because I didn't go off of any template. I just kind of went off of like what I felt was to be done the first thing i usually do with the valentine's day side i just glue my eyebrow down because i definitely want to draw a heart on that side and the thing that really inspired me about this look is that there's two types of people there's people who love valentine's day who love love and mostly are in relationships and there's people who are more anti-valentine's day because it kind of reminds them of if they're single or like they're searching that kind of thing <laughs> And it just makes me realize, or it just made me realize, like, those two people could coexist. Just like how they coexist on my face, like the Valentine's and anti-Valentine's. It can definitely coexist because there are some people who, though they have a relationship, Valentine's Day, yes, it's a great celebration of love, but does it really have to be? so much you can literally celebrate your love every single day it doesn't take one day just because the whole of america is celebrating it for you to actually come and now want to celebrate it also it makes me think about good people and bad people because the valentine's day side the side that i'm drawing the heart on is very bright airy pink and the other side is dark and it reminds me of the story of the wolf which wolf will you feed um the story goes like you know there's two wolves there's good and there's evil and the good wolf you know or the e good side um you can choose to feed that side or you can choose to see eat feed the evil side the evil side is mostly jealousy you know hurt hate that kind of thing resentment and the good side is usually happiness joy and things like that so i kind of got inspired by that at first i really wanted to color in the whole heart but then i realized like a neon heart will actually be a little cuter and i'm glad that it worked out so if you have any questions about this look if you want to recreate or anything like that leave it in the comment section down below um and Honestly, you guys, take this Valentine's Day to really take care of yourself. Even if you're single, even if you have a relationship, do something small. Don't go all out and, you know, I mean, do whatever you guys want. I mean, I'm not your mother now. I cannot tell you what to do for real, for real. But with me, you know, you guys know that I have a fiancé now. This is actually our first Valentine's Day as fiancés, which is pretty cool. But at the same time, I don't really even feel like we're doing much because we're going to be in love every day, even after this valentine's day and if you are single take this day as i said last year actually to just pamper yourself you know feel good about yourself love yourself because that's really what valentine's day is all about it's about celebrating love not just couple love but self-love so that's kind of like what I had to say about that. I just had to explain this look to you and tell you guys why it's one side Valentine's and the other side not. So with the neon, I've realized with neon or like trying to turn things neon, you have to pile on the colors, which is why I started with red. Then I went in with pink. Then I went in again with white. And basically I just keep outlining it with the same color. So right now I'm using pink. And it then makes it a neon kind of look. So the, after this pink, then I go and use white. And I decided to draw an arrow in it just because it was kind of cute. 
So starting off with the other side, which is the anti-Valentine's Day side. And you guys, comment down below. Who are you? Or what kind of person are you? Are you a Valentine's Day girl? Or are you an anti-Valentine's Day girl? And let me just let you know that being single does not mean you're technically anti-Valentine's. There are a lot of people who are actually in relationships that feel like Valentine's Day is not necessary. So comment down below and let me know what kind of girl you are. So starting on the other side, I'm just going to set my under eye like usual, you know. Um, it's a half and half look. So we got to still make it look, you know, regular and stuff like that. Um, I'm just going to start off with the other eye. I've been using the Festival palette a lot lately. I really like the Oro color. The Oro color is a really nice transition color. It's very skin-like, but it's kind of yellow. Now, building up the color, I'm using the red color in the palette. Instead of using black, I'm using purple because the purple is really going to make it have depth in comparison to using black. Now I'm just going to cut my crease. I decided to do a very dramatic cut crease look because I felt like this really embodied like the edginess of anti-Valentine's. And honestly, you guys can turn this into a look. I actually wanted to do on the other side a softer look and on one side a harsher look like this. But I decided to go a little bit more out of the box and just do your heart. But if you wanted, you could just do some light pink eyeshadow on the other side and you're good to go. But this one, I was like, look... We got to do the whole nine yards. The black things under my eye, believe it or not, it's supposed to be bottom lashes. So they're supposed to be like really dramatic bottom lashes. <laughs> so I drew them on. So on the other side, on the dark side, I'm using the uh, Smashbox Lip Tar. It's called Lip Tar. It's actually always on liquid lipstick in lip tar. And I'm just putting a little bit of pink rosy blush on the good side. And I'm using ColourPop Buds liquid lipstick on the good side so yeah this is basically pretty much you know watch tutorial and try and learn because sometimes i don't even know how to explain these things i obviously had to put on a little bit of highlight i drew a heart you know because it's still love and uh this is the finished product so i hope you guys really enjoyed this creative look i'm really loving creative looks and i'm trying to do at least once a week Next week, if you guys are not on my Instagram, I'm going to be posting a whole week of my engagement photos and I'm going to be posting my engagement video finally this week. So stay tuned to that and definitely repost if you see the pictures on Instagram. And I love you guys so, so much and happy Valentine's Day in advance, obviously. But ha, bye.